Ladies and gentlemen, I have a Jewish mother-in-law. Okay, maybe the bright lights are blending in with the blonde streets, but I am a black woman with a Jewish mother-in-law, okay? Now, you know the only thing we have in common. We don't want to get our hair wet. Hey. So there was big drama when we got the sonogram results. She was very excited. Okay, so now that we know we're having a little girl, I'd like to know what you plan on naming our little Chachka. Okay, okay. Now I realize there's a difference in the background with the African American colored, whatever your people call yourselves these days. But I don't want a name that's difficult to pronounce, like Shaniqua or Shaquandra. I'm thinking of a name that's short but delicious, like Hadassah or Goldie. You don't have to be a Jew to know that's a jacked up name to be given to little black kids. They gonna be running uptown in Harlem with their cousins Rashid and Rashid. They're gonna be like, yo, Hadassah, yo, Goldie, yo, my homies, what's up? <laughs> drama, drama from the moment I met my mother-in-law. My husband decided to introduce me to his mother for Passover, all right? Now in the car, on the way to Passover, Seder, he leans over and says, look, we're not gonna tell mommy you're black. I'm thinking that's smart, she'll never notice. But she noticed, and that's when I noticed that Jews can't whisper. Have you noticed this, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Unbelievable, because you know, Latinos know how to whisper, like, mira, culita, man, tu me entiendes, right? You know, Latinos know how to whisper, black people know how to whisper, like, you know what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying, see what we don't know what we're saying, but we know how to whisper, and that's the point. I meet Ruthie for the first time. She says, oh, thank you so much for coming. Have a seat. And Elliot put my pocketbook away. <laughs> I meet the best friends for the first time, Edie and Mordecai. Now, y'all know I ain't lying. We ain't got no Mordecais in the hood, right? So Edie is this big, blonde, Hungarian, Jewish princess, green eyes, blue eyeshadow. Every time blinks her eyes, looks like traffic lights. Sing, go, 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 go. Sweetheart, Ruthie says to me that you say that you are black? You're such a beautiful girl. Why do you want to say these things about yourself? <laughs> I'm school teacher 23 years. I know the black people. You are not black. I s so thanks for telling me to think I've been using Afro Sheen for all the wrong reasons all these years. Hey! See, these white people are trying to give me drama. You can't give me drama. I was born a drama queen. My father's Swedish, my mother African-American. You know what that made me in New York City? A fine Puerto Rican, honey. That's right, that's what it made me, Wepa. That's right, and that worked for me, honey, because when that Puerto Rican day parade comes to New York City, I'll be marching with the rest of them J-Los, because after two babies, within two years, I got a culita like that. I'm like, excuse me, muevete. My name is Maria Santiago Velasquez de Barranquilla, Bogota, Puerto Rico. And I'm living La Vida Loca, just like Ricky Martin. You know, I love her. Anyway. <laughs>